Hey guys, I wanted to talk about a type of prayer that I think would benefit everybody from at least trying a few times. But before I get to that type of prayer, let me just suggest that if you've ever journaled your prayers, you've probably noticed that it can be very helpful. And if you ever haven't, I challenge you to give it a try. There's something about seeing our prayers written down. There's something about being able to flip back through the pages and see how God has been there, how God has answered prayer, how God has changed your heart. And sometimes you can see that by flipping through your journaled prayers. I think this is especially helpful for those of us that have a hard time focusing. Squirrel! When you sit down and pray, and you sit down and read scripture, you're not exactly sure what to pull, and your mind goes maybe to what you have to do that day, or the video game you wanna play. I wish! I just wanna to suggest to you that writing your prayer can actually be a part of your prayer life to make prayer seem a little bit more concrete. If you hear nothing else I say, I would recommend attempting to journal your prayers. If you're new to this, I wanna introduce a specific journaling prompt based on an ancient prayer. The prayer I wanna talk about that will help you with your journaling is a prayer that somebody in the 1500s came up with. It's very helpful, it's very simple, but it invites you into reflect about your day. So I wanna invite you into what's known as the prayer of examine. This is a selfie of St. Ignatius of Loyola. It seems he was quite iridescent. All right, no, it's not a selfie. And no, he probably didn't glow. But uh, this guy came up with an idea called consolation and desolation, according to my friend Jerome. Consolation, things that move us closer to God. Desolation, things that move us further from God. So that's kind of how this prayer takes shape. And we'll talk about the questions we can ask ourselves as journaling prompts. So thanks, my homes. Simply asking God to examine, and I am spelling that wrong on purpose. That's actually how this prayer is spelled for some reason. Is it Latin? I don't know. Let me boil it down to the essence of the prayer. Is asking God to illuminate where you were closest to him and where you were furthest from him. And sitting in the presence of God with that kind of self-reflection about your day. I think this is especially helpful for journaling because one of the things you probably do if you journal is that you want to talk about the stuff that happened to you. And guys, I just want to encourage you that that is part of your life you can open up before God as an act of prayer. Let's just frame it this way. The first question you might want to ask God through the journaling spiritual discipline of examine is, God, where were you most today? So a way to approach that could be simply to ask and think and reflect and review your day and think about the things that brought you joy. Where were the good things? It could have been a good conversation. It could have been a beautiful sunrise. It could have been a really good food. It could have been an act of kindness that you did or saw or received. The idea behind the examine is asking God to illuminate, to reveal, to shed light on where he was with you during the day. So if you're journaling along with me, why don't you go ahead and begin this entry with the things that you're thankful for. Look for God's presence in those things and ask him to reveal himself in them. You have not been alone today. God has been with you. So let's review and be grateful for God. Now, as you know, if you journal, some things that you may journal are things that you're struggling with or things that you're disappointed about or frustrated by. You may ask yourself as a journaling prompt in this prayer of examine, where was I least with God today? And I guess what I mean by that is places where you felt like your mind, your actions, your words, your experiences felt out of sync with God's design for you, out of sync with God's expectation of your character and you just something's uneasy about it maybe you got really angry unnecessarily at a sibling or a parent maybe you spent a large amount of your time doing something that wasn't constructive about your day maybe you thought thoughts that are just not helpful maybe you did something really wrong 
and you regret. So maybe we can start there and ask God, God, where were the places, can you illuminate the places where I deviated most from you today? And be open and honest and just know that there is grace in God and that God can show you and bring to light the areas where you need to give him more of yourself, where you need, as you review your day, you realize that you've compartmentalized or you've ignored this aspect of your life. And the discipline of examine is attempting to give God permission to light up that area of your life and attempt to be close to him in it. One year, almost every evening, I wrote something. One of the things that framed my journal entries in part was this prayer of examine. And, I, and you begin to realize patterns and you begin to realize that God is in your life and he's shaping you now. And this discipline, simply journaling, the idea here is that over time, I become more actively aware, not just in review of my day, but actively aware of God's presence in my life in the here and now and where I am with him most and where I am diverging from him. And so I encourage you to use this simple framework for journaling as a prayer before God. Did you know that you're journaling? If you already journal or you've thought about journaling or you've journaled here and there, that that can actually be a part of your prayer life, reflecting on your day.